Oh, insulin pump, whatever would I do without you? Hi, this is Deborah, also known as Deepage42, another edition of My Take and My Take on My Diabetes Life. Um, yes, this is my insulin pump. Let me pull it a little further out of my bra so you can see it. Ta da! It's purple because, well, purple. Um, it's got a tube attached to it. That's where the insulin is being pumped through. And this is kind of where it lives. It's happy there in the top of my bra. Now, most of the time I wear my insertion site, which you can see here, down on my belly somewhere. So all of my tubing is tucked in. It goes from the belly up to the bra. Nothing is really sticking out unless that happens and it sticks out a little bit. But today I'm living dangerously. I've got it right here. Back of my arm. Sometimes you got to give the belly a break. Soft skin on the back of the arm works just fine for delivery for me and for absorption. And yes, that is a factor, absorption. But what happens when you wear it on your arm or you've got your tubing exposed? Something that I have seen called aggressive doorknob syndrome. Those doorknobs suck. So do cabinet knobs and just random things sticking out places. I have ripped mine out on a variety of things. Cabinet knobs, car seats, more than one and more than one time. People, well-meaning people coming to give me a hug and their hand has grabbed the tubing and just yanked it right the hell out. <sighs> and you go, ow, because it hurts. But it's not the thing sticking into your skin that really hurts. It's a very small little plastic doohickey. In my case, it's plastic and it just goes in and out. You don't really feel that. You know what hurts? The sticky stuff, the adhesive. There is sticky stuff on here. Like a Band-Aid built in. Okay, and I'll show you. We'll unclick it, tippy toe so you can see. Ta-da! That is what the insulin is being delivered through from the pump, through the tubing, into that little doohickey in my arm. No, this needle does not go into your skin. The needle pokes into a little made hole in here that drips the insulin in slowly. It's a neat little system, actually. Let's wait for the snap. There we go, it's back in, but oh dear, there's tubing hanging out. And besides, the aggressive doorknobs, the aggressive cabinet knobs, dresser knobs, you've also got cats. For some reason, my cats think that that is something they should chew on and attack. What's a diabetic girl to do? No, really, what do you do? I tuck my stuff into my dresses and into my shirts and if, if I have pants pockets, I shove them in there. But this is a constant thing. We've always got some tubing sticking out somewhere. I've had somebody see some sticking out of my shirt and they're looking, they're like, what is that? Cause you know, it's like, unless you know what it is, that's kind of weird. Oh, just my pump. So it's not a beeper? Not a beeper. Or in Arnold's B, it's not a beeper. Not a tuma either. It's just a pump. Just something that helps keep this fat chick alive. Day in and day out, it's doing its work. But that tubing though, <sighs> that tubing though. Click up here for some more uh, diabetes rant type of things. Um, how about over here for some more my takes that don't necessarily have to do with that? Hmm. Click over here to subscribe if you would. And I would love to hear from you. What do you do about and with your tubing if you're diabetic? Do you know someone who wears a pump? Do you know what they do with their stuff? I'd love to know. I'd love to hear because there's got to be a better way than those doorknobs grabbing the stuff. See ya.